Welcome to MFAA On Air. MFAA On Air recently spoke to Baz Gardner from The Social Advisor about why it's so important for credit advisors to embrace social advice and how exactly to start building those social relationships. Social media is not about putting stuff out. It's about creating a conversation. And so the only reason that you produce content and put it out is to create an opportunity for that. So if someone does send you a message or asks you a question, that's really them tapping you on the shoulder and saying, hey, I think I might want to be your client. And if you look at it that way, you do need to be there and you do need to build it into your process and systems because as you start doing this, people start tapping you on the shoulder. The misconception is, oh, it's about advertising, so I've got to go on there and think about what message I, I want to give and how it might be perceived and you know what I want them to do and what my benefits are and it all becomes so artificial that no one actually engages with anything instead of going you know who am I what do I care what do I do and then of course if you do get that right and someone does tap you on the shoulder and say hey I'm interested then it's kind of oh it's happened I gotta go into sale and of course that's not what it's about. You wouldn't be at the networking event, someone come over and says, oh, I'm interested in what you do. And then you go, great, whip out your diary, we'll make an appointment. So it's kind of the same thing on social media. It's about opening up and asking, a, uh, or starting a conversation. And the best way to do that is just ask questions. So if someone asks you a question, answer it, and then ask them a question. When you do it, and when you're just being yourself, but you know how to express that, then yeah, you can jump on LinkedIn and you can share something that means something to you and your clients will jump right on there and share with you. And so instead of it being a, you know, go and see Jeff, he's the best broker I've come across, it's, hey, here's a picture of me with Jeff and he really just helped me rethink how I was thinking about borrowing money and now we can expand our business and if you're a finance broker, you brought someone in, you got to know them, you've helped create one of the most meaningful you know, circumstances in their life in most cases, whether it's you know, buying a new building for their business, whether it's you know, refinancing and saving a bucket load of money, or whether it's buying their first house, or you know, the excitement of buying an investment property. So you get all of this goodwill, and then you don't talk to them again. And it's really hard when you're in that position to be able to maintain a relationship. You can't afford to be having lunch with every client that you've ever done business with. But on social media, you might not hear from them for two years, but they'll call you and they'll come back to you and say, oh yeah, how was your holiday last month? Because they know what you're doing and you're keeping that relationship going and you're being connected to them. So when it's time for them to do the next thing, they're just straight on the phone calling you. Really just learn how to be yourself and figure out what you want to do and then if you take that to social media in a structured in a structured way understanding what platform does what who's on where then really as I said you can just reach as many people as you like. To see the full list of speakers and register for the MFAA 2014 National Convention on the Gold Coast go to www.mfaaconvention.com.au You've been watching MFAA on air. 